we just wait patiently for more players to join. Hello, Wallaluya, and I like black. Try to get a full game. I love everybody. much so I will subscribe to you give me one moment Ninja, I have now subscribed to you.
And if you would like to see more from this channel, you can go ahead and subscribe. Start, please. All right, I got you. I was just trying to get a full game in here, but if we can't get everybody, then it's cool. Thank you, I guess. Hi there. Like I'm only I'm 19, so. and I'm kind of excited to be here. Remember, guys, during this game, it's natural to fall in love with me. Fight the feeling. Let's go. Time for round one. You'll get two prompts on your device. Just answer them however you want. Your responses or quips will be pitted against someone else's, and everyone will vote on their favorite. You score based on the percentage of players who like your answer. Plus, there are winner's bonuses at stake. Go! Oh, really? Okay, here we go. The first prompt is a movie that could use some nudity. <laughs> Next one, your first decree after being named <laughs> supreme ruler of the earth. But you're not much older than I am. <laughs> Time to vote. <laughs> Next in line, the worst way to remove pubic hair. It's voting time. Okay, next one. What King Kong is most self-conscious about? That's all for round one. Here's the scoreboard. On to round two, where all points are doubled. Doubled, I say.
Let's take a look. First up, an ill-advised outfit to wear to your first day at a new job. Okay, voting time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go the ninja, ninja sex party route. Coming up next, the best way to catch a leprechaun. is a bad thing to yell during church. Vote on your devices. And next, where would you live if you were two inches tall? <laughs> and that's all for round two. Fire up the scoreboard. And now, round three, the last lash. Point values are triple, and you'll all be answering the same prompt this time. Your last lash prompt is... Come up with a name for a fast food chain that only serves rabbit meat. Everybody's in. Vote now. You get three votes this round to spread out any way you like, or give them all to one answer. That's all. Now for the final scores. My power is growing. Nice. 
you guys want to play again, you can go ahead and pop back on. Um, try to see if any of your friends would want to join as well by sharing this live stream with them. No, 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 no. Going pretty good. I'm just waiting for more people to join on. Um, if you have any friends you want to join in, you have that you want to join in, you can have them jump in. Just copy the link and send it to them.
Hello there, I'm Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Yes, that Josh Schmitty Schmitzenstein. Well, that's everybody, I guess. Have fun and keep your hands where I can see them. This is round one. You get points based on the percentage of people who like your answer, and a bonus if you get more votes than your opponent. Go! Okay, it's time for some quip lashing. Starting things off, a kinky weird thing that does not happen in Fifty Shades of Grey, as far as you know. Okay, pick your favorite. Next up, the dumbest method of birth control. Time to vote. Next one, a surprising job entry on Abraham Lincoln's resume. It's voting time. That's round one. Let's take a look at the scores. Two is straight ahead, and that means all points are doubled. Start this show. Our first prompt is the unsexiest thought you can have. Okay, everyone, vote for your favorite. Okay, next one. The name of the website that probably gave your computer a virus. Time to vote. <laughs> and next 
is the crime you would commit if you could get away with it. Vote on your devices. We've reached the end of round two. Let's see what happened. No, 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 no. This is round three, the last lash. One final chance to catch up. Point values are tripled and everyone gets the same prompt this time. Your prompt is... Come up with a new dessert that contains the name of a U.S. state. Right, we're ready. <laughs> it's over. Let's take a look at the final scores.
I'm Cookie Masterson, but in my past life, I was Sally Jenkins, a beautiful but shy seamstress. <coughs> Two players it is, and here I am, yapping. Oh, and if anybody else wants to join, they can get in the audience at any time. Audience people can play along for their own personal scores and can like their favorite lie each question. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one, and that means you get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your made-up answer. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a helper, the defibrillator. It eliminates all but one lie. Only one use per game, so use it wisely. Select the category. Okay, here's your first question. For some strange reason, food scientists at Cornell University helped create a carbonated blank beverage. It's true. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Okay, now find the truth and enter it on your device. Okay, what did everyone pick? Well, you guys blew it. And nobody fell for this one. Time to pick a category. It's time for another installment of Diagnosis, huh? Diagnosis, huh? Those suffering from Stendhal Syndrome can become dizzy and even pass out when they see blank. Input your lies now. If you can't think of something. Okay, take a look and find the truth. All right, let's see what everybody picked. And you all missed it. And let's put this last one out of its misery. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2006, police in Shanghai strangely arrested 11 people for blank in public as part of a protest. Write your lies now. If you can't think of anything. 
Okay, find the truth. Let's see what everybody selected. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And don't forget to use that defibrillator if you haven't already. It's gone after round two. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. In 2004, the BBC reported that the Johnny Cash estate rejected an offer to use his song Ring of Fire in a commercial. The commercial was for blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. All right, who picked what? Okay, well, you all dropped the ball. And just one lie goes unpicked. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Harriet Watt University's School of Textiles and Design created a fabric that emits the smell of blank. Enter your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? Okay, let's take a look. But have fun explaining that to the cop who pulled you over. And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Pick a category. Okay, here's the question. On March 12th, 2015, Dukes of Dorchester Auction House in Dorset, England auctioned off something rather unusual. Winston Churchill's blank. Input your lies now. Where's the truth? <laughs> okay, 
Okay, what did everyone pick? And that's it. Nobody else's lies got picked. Welcome to the final fibbage. This is your final question, and it's worth triple. It's anybody's game. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. John Steinbeck's original title for his novel, Of Mice and Men, before he was convinced to change it. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? Let's see what everybody picked. Here's something you might be interested in. And we're done. And this is where we're going to end the stream. If you like what you saw, please punch the force out of the like button and subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.